Let's shift gear a little bit. And we touched a lot about the resource. Why don't we talk a little bit about the research that you guys are supporting? And uh, maybe you can give our audience a little perspective about what's coming around the corner because you know you sort of supported some of the early basic trials and um, and also some of the late stage work. Absolutely, so that's a great question. So the way we fund research is that we have a scientific advisory committee. So we send out a request for proposals to academic centers. They will submit the proposal to us and then our scientific advisory committee will score the proposal. Mm. So we use the NIH scoring system. So it's very competitive. And what our goal is, is to fund the most competitive, aggressive proposals that will benefit patients, right? So we want to fund the best science we can possibly fund that will directly impact and benefit patients and their loved ones. So over the years, that's been about 23 million in research. Um, and it varies every year. So we fund a research in uveal melanoma, which again, only has one FDA approved treatment. We funded mucosal melanoma research. We funded basic science research and we funded translational research. So we, we really fund the gamut, but the main criteria is how strong the proposal is, right? So how, how strong is the proposal? How good is the science that we know that this will benefit patients? So there's been quite a variety in terms of the areas that we've focused on. It's been everything from brain metastases, which we all know is a major concern for metastatic melanoma patients. We have focused on pediatric melanoma, which again is an area that is under-researched and under-supported and, and really a, a big area. We've also focused on mucosal melanoma, which again yeah. only is 2% of all diagnosed melanomas, but has poor outcomes and, and really is diagnosed at later stages, which make it very hard to treat. Definitely, definitely. So you basically cover the full gamut from basic science, translational, any clinical trials? We have not funded any specific clinical trials. Um, again, we, we leave that to the, to the pharmaceutical <laughs> industry. <laughs> but really translational, translational research, you know, things that are, that are really gonna benefit patients. Yeah, I know a lot of the recipients from your grants, from your awards, have subsequently gone on and uh, submitted an NIH grant. And, uh, you know, you sort of, it's a, it's a kind of pilot and proving that their research is in the right track. You know, so it's a really great work. 